Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, I have put this up on Instagram, a bunch of different pictures of it. People were asking, well, what the heck is that? That's really cool, da 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 So I just wanted to kind of do a quick video on it. Uh, this is the new pistol stand from Lock Grips. I can kind of named it the Lock Stand uh, because it's not like an you know, ordinary pistol stand. It's a little different. And I'll kind of show you the features and the benefits and how it works. Um, pretty simple, but can actually serve a purpose for a bunch of different pistols. Now this particular one is actually made out of 6061 billet aluminum. So it's not just your standard pistol stand. Uh, it's CAD milled, you know, the whole works. This one's a little different. It does have the Texas uh, and that is actually milled in it. I'll show you here in just a second. It does say BJGG. So if you're wanting a custom, totally custom stand, get with the guys at Lock Grips. Maybe they can get you fixed up. And if you're interested in one of the stands, or any of the lock grips, you can actually use my code, go to lock grips, and I will include a link in this description. The code is BJGG10, all capitalized, BJGG10. That'll save you 10% off your entire order of grips or stands or any other uh, items you'd like to purchase from them. Now, how does this work and why do I call it the lock stand? Well, I'm going to take the pistol and lift it up. What comes with it? The stand. How do you get it off? Watch this. There's the magazine release. There goes the stand. Now if you want to put it on, okay, now look, I can't push it down. See, it just comes back up. But watch, push this, locks down. Sorry about the camera wiggling around. So it actually locks it on the stand so it won't tilt, won't fall off. You know, gives it a very substantial base. Also, this pistol is not light. It's very heavy. I can push here and it doesn't bow. I can tap on it, it doesn't wiggle. So it's very heavy duty. Now the neat thing about these stands is they actually have these mag attachments and you mount these to the base. So there's one for Glock, there's one for the 1911, this one's for the TSO, I have another one here for the Shadow 2. The way that they work is right down here at the bottom, the two small holes. You actually put these, these are the lock, they're like uh, stainless steel dowel rod pins. You actually put these, and I'm doing this through the camera, you actually put these in there like that, and that gives it its stability. And then from the bottom, you actually screw this through with the washer, and that actually locks the center. It does include all of the hardware, and it includes your hex key. So your hardware and everything's included. Well, you don't have to buy a pistol stand for every one of your pistols. You can buy additional little mag attachments. So you can buy one pistol stand and then the different mag attachments. And you'll see here they're cut just like the mag and that is what locks them in with your magazine release. So let's push this one off. I'll take the pistol off and I'll kind of show you about this one. There it is right there. It's a TSO. Here's how it attaches on the bottom does say lock grips, does come with the little rubber feet, you can just stick those on there. That's the way that it comes. So this is a heavy duty stand. This was custom done, it is milled out, so that Texas actually does stand up and it's an inlay. So there's that one, really awesome. And here's the other one. This one is actually made out of G10 material, so it's a little lighter but very heavy duty also. Show you here. Doesn't push down either. The G10 ones are less expensive than the uh, 6061 uh, billet aluminum. But man, these are really nice here. But why would you need a pistol stand? If you're going to mount your optics, you know, you're going to work on your optic, you're going to take it apart, take your slide off, clean the lower, you can actually mount it to this and do that. This one, you'll notice, I lift it up. How do I get it off? Press the button, falls right off. To mount it, it won't just snap down there. You actually have to push this and it locks it on. So that's why I call it the lock stand again. But, you know, you're going to do any work on your pistol, these help, and you'll notice it's perfectly straight. There's no bow, it's not angled up, it's exactly like your mag would be. So that's pretty cool too. And I will take this off, I'll show you this one. 
Sorry, the camera's on the table, so everything's bouncing around. CZ75 actually attaches the same way. It does say lock grips on it with the little rubber feet. Those come in your package. So when you order the stand, you get the stand, and you get one of your preferred mag, you know, whatever your, your uh, pistol is. However, you can actually buy additional ones of these for your other guns and use the same stand. But I love pistol stands. I like to display my pistols. I like to work on them, you know, adjust the dots, clean them. Like when you want to clean a dot, this way you can actually turn it around. You can get your, you know, your Q-tips, whatever you're going to do. You can clean in there. You can be clean in the front and the back. You don't have to hold your pistol. So some people have said these are expensive, but if you look at the way that they're made, they're not just like a normal pistol stand. Um, they're definitely heavy duty. This is not a light pistol either. It's definitely lighter because it's been milled out. However, these aren't just like polymer guns. These are very heavy duty guns, especially this TSO. This thing is a beast, but with all this extra weight on it. But you just push it on there, snap it, and you're good to go. So if you're interested in one of the lock stands or any of the lock grips, again, you can use my discount code. It go to lock grips, I will include a link below. The discount code is BJGG10, and that will save you 10% off. So I appreciate y'all so much. If you have any questions, please leave them below. And what do y'all think about pistol stands? Useless? You like them? You know, whatever. Just let me know down below. I'd really love to hear. Like I said, I like them. They serve a great function and purpose for me. But if you're not into that, I understand. But I appreciate y'all watching so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on.